Hey, Cam signing on here, and welcome to Subnautica Early Access. Now, this is an early access game, as I have already mentioned, and it's uh, based on a lot of water. You are actually a survivor of some type of crash. You will actually see in a minute what's going to happen. Now, I've already actually had the game. I had already dived in the game a little bit, so. But I do want to start over with you guys so you know what's going on here. So, here, when you start a new game on Subnautica, and seeing as how it's early access, it is being updated like almost every month, I'd say. It's really good game. You should honestly check it out right now because it does get updated almost every month. And the game devs here are really good at it. I mean, they uh, when you put feedback in, they do respond and all that other stuff. So they're really great. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into this. Um, there are four game modes. Uh, one of the game modes are survival which is like basic game mode. So you go in, you try to survive, avoid the danger, seize your fine resources, manage hunger and thirst to survive. Uh, there's freedom. It's like survival, but without the hunger and the water, as you can see, it's just like, oh look, you just have to worry about breathing and you have to worry about health. Hardcore is like for those players who, you know, wanna play hard, Core. And what it means is basically when it, it's like only one life. So you literally have to watch everything. You would go in there and if you die, that's it. Game over. You're done. So if you really want to do that, good luck to you because we're going to do survival mode just so you know. And then there's creative mode. That means you can just build whatever you want. And it's basically a way of like say, hey, that's one of the cheats. You can just explore everything. Um, Actually, because I do want to explore everything with you, however, I don't really want to get into a whole new survival series. We're going to go into creative mode so you can kind of see, but then I'll kind of get away. I don't know. Hmm. I'll be back. One sec. Okay, so I'm back and I've decided to do creative mode and the reason why is because I feel like you guys would honestly if you want to play the game on the survival mode I'd rather not ruin that for you so I'm just gonna kind of dive in show you a little bit of what it has and then when if you decide to pick up the game go ahead and go on the survival mode yourself however basically I figure this is a quick little video to show you basically what the game is about so to do that I would have to go into creative mode where I have everything basically found in the game and if it takes it away I'm sorry if you do want to see survival mode let me know and I'll put it on my personal channel um, it's called Cookie Cam on the YouTube and then we'll go from there and I'll do a survival series there however if you don't it's fine no problem Or I'll do it here. Either way works. <laughs> Whichever one you guys vote on, just vote in the comments below and we'll find out where it goes from there. It takes a while to load. Um, but yeah, basically you um, die on a ship, just so you know. Your entire ship is... Yeah, you literally... Well, you don't die on a ship, but your ship explodes for some strange reason. I like to think that maybe you were a family man who went to go and explore like one of those movies, and then all of a sudden the ship exploded because I don't know. And then you land on this like weird planet because you can see a planet, and then you see another planet behind that planet, and then you see like I don't know if that's the sun or the moon or whatever that astral projection thing in the back is. So it's all depends on how you want to. Okay. Now as I think about it, I probably should have done survival mode. <laughs> um yeah. Huh. Well to when you play the regular game, you actually start off with like a little snippet, a little clip. Stating, hey, by the way, the um, ore exploded. You do not start with any of the stuff on the bottom, by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
crash. So then you have a community. So let's get started in this game a little bit. You have a few tools with you. When you first start off, you're gonna have like a fire, so that's why this fire extinguisher is here. And this beeping is a communication relay, which will not be intact when you play survival mode. As I think about it, I probably really should have just played survival mode for a bit and showed you what it had. However, I figured diving into this, showing what the game is, that's basically what this is about, right? So here you have here I'll just press the button. So you will have like messages played. I don't know what they're gonna go and do with that. Okay. Okay, how many nines was that? <laughs> See, eventually you will have this will be all off and then it will be smoking here and you would have to use that and then you would have to find a welder and rebuild everything here. However, like I said in the game, so let's go up top real quick. So this is the Aurora that you laid it on. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, hold on. Just, okay, so that's the Aurora that you landed on that you were on. That's the, the ship is called the Aurora. And then you have Oh right. I'll show you that in a minute. So then let's go into your inventory real quick and show you. Now these things you would have to find on your own eventually, but for oh, when did they put that there? Huh. So they give you a Okay. Okay. No no no. So you have a few things that you can create. You would actually get all this stuff on your own as I think about it. Again, I should have gone to survival mode, however, I figured I'd just dive in real quick and show you guys what it's basically about. You've probably seen other YouTubers play this game, however, if you haven't... So there's a ton of things you can do right now. Again, this is creative mode, so you have everything at your access at your disposal. It's literally not even playing the game right now. Um kind of like a cheat game. So the thing about it, again, I should have done survival mode. But, again, I'll leave that to you guys if you want to see in the survival mode how I have to collect everything and show you everything in the game. We shall see. So here you have what they call the fabricator. The fabricator is a place where you can collect certain things and because I am in creative mode, everything is accessible. I don't need, need to create anything. And so I can create everything that is ever to me. So <laughs> normally you would actually have to go out there and look for the stuff yourself. But in creative mode, you can go ahead and just make it so like if I wanted something to eat which is not here so I don't have to worry about any of that okay so let's get in the ocean oh, it's pretty down here it's so pretty down well now that I know I can't die I'm gonna go down here only because I know I can't die so it works I can go down here and get my face blasted off <laughs> Normally you wouldn't be able to do that. So you would be able to break stone and everything would be made. And now as I think about it, you know what I'm gonna do? In Subnautica, you start off with nothing. Literally, you have nothing but your hands, and that's it. You wouldn't even have this knife. You would have to find things to make this knife, and then you would have either a blueprint of a few things, and that's it. You would then go around looking and searching for certain objects like this, like a metal salvage would salvage you something like titanium. And what you would do is you would return once you have, like, if you ran out of oxygen, it would tell you, hey, you ran out of oxygen. But because I have that turned off, you go to the fabricator and you can actually use that and make titanium out of that metal salvage. I don't know if I did that. 
It did not. <laughs> Good and bad of being in creative mode is that you can't really explore the game as good as you would like to however like i said it's just a way to kind of show you what the game can be so i am gonna dive a little bit into like a regular mode like creative survival mode at the end of this and then show you basically um the difference between creative mode and survival mode so here again in creative mode you have to show you real quick about Somatica is like you ooh, this is so cute this is so cool I love that they added this this is called a um, air sac if you haven't realized and it's a fish this is very vital it's so cute oh my gosh it's so cool sorry I just like how the animation of this this wasn't here at first like they updated this animation I think either last month or this month I don't know when but it was so cool and I first found out because I had him like in a tank in my last one it was just oh my gosh look at this and now it's like a breathable thing and like shrinks it's kind of like a anyway I need to shut up about it let me just try and grab it there it is <laughs> highly recommended endless of organisms highly recommended before you so this air sac is actually a two way creature here it <laughs> you can use it to eat or you can use it to drink. You can eat it raw. Honestly, you can eat it raw. I'm gonna let it go because I don't need to eat. But you can also make water out of it, which will then give you water to be able. And again, I will show you all of that in the survival because I'm going to show you a quick mode. I might even do hardcore. Just so you know, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna fish hardcore, however. <laughs> Eventually, the time cycles change, so you do have a day and a night cycle. And the night cycle is scarier than the day cycle. The game is pretty amazing. The graphics are really nice, especially for like underwater, because you know when you go underwater in real life, the, you don't really see this well. So, oh, okay. So here's another creature. It's very vital, however, I don't like it! No! Oh yeah, that's right, I don't die. It's called a crash bomber, or crash creature, in which you can grab from the crash creature's crash powder. You can only grab it once, so there's... But it will come back to its moment. I don't know if it makes more or not. It might make more. These are creatures you usually stay away from, but I don't think they can see us in creative mode. I think in creative mode, you're literally invisible. Which would make sense because then they would start attacking. This is coral. We need that. <laughs> At some point. So eventually you would go around gathering all of these things and you would create a lot like a base or food or water or shelter and it or eventually you would create like these things if you find the blueprint you would create them and then they would be in your inventory which takes up a lot of slots as you can tell and then you can use them so let's get into some of these tools that i have in my inventory you have five hotkeys one two three four and five what is this oh Okay. Uh, I don't know what this is. Um, I guess it's like some kind of pulse cannon. Go away. And you capture stuff with it. Propulsion cannon. I don't explain the name. Okay. Ah! Dark! It's dark! It's really dark! Oh my gosh! Where's my base? Where's my base? You can always have a beacon of any base if you put it down. Or you would always have a beacon of this base anyway. However, when you start creating regular bases, you won't always have a beacon. It's so pretty down here, but at the same time, it's so scary because there are monsters out here. Not actual monsters, like jump scares, but... Oh, <laughs> see it, we can see it. So I'm right. Problem. Oh yeah, the um... Power will never go out in here. And your little life pod. This is actually a life pod that you jumped into. And again, you'll see what 
really went on the new war for like two sec 2.5. This is the metal metal kit fabricator. I forgot to show you that. This is a storage container. It's a small one. It doesn't have much. It just has a little bit. You would eat. You would switch either over or you would eat it. But seeing as how we don't have to eat it, you got a few flares in here. There's our holes that we took earlier. You would use quartz to make glass, and titanium is very important as well. You'll end up actually making a ton of stuff out of titanium, because titanium is the main source that they use to create buildings. So since it's late at night, and it's a perfect time, I love the Everything's so cute. Let's go ahead and build a quick, quick base. I... What did I do? Yeah. So I'm in that head. Alright. Uh oh. Yeah. That's what I mean. <laughs> So then there's another, there's a few of the tools that I believe are basic tools that you can use. And one of the tools that I believe are basic is Scanner, which I don't have on me. I think the reason why I don't have that on me is because they were like, oh, well you don't really need Scanner. And I'm like, yeah, I do. And they're like, no you don't. And then, because you're in creative mode, there's no point. And I'm like, oh, well, whatever. And yeah. This is called the Habitat Builder. The Habitat Builder is exactly what you think is a builder for habitats. So here you would open up a submenu which has construction tools of four different categories. First one, habitat components. All of them are compartments of different ways. And a basic one is a multi-purpose room, so we're gonna build that. Before we build that though, you want to always lie down foundation. And I feel like foundation, you don't have to, however foundation will really help. I found that out during my survival series as I was building my base. And it sank. <laughs> Literally started... Yeah, that works. Power restored already? Jeez, that was quick. I was starting. All primary systems online. Well, I have no power. However, it'll say power stuff. So then, so you have your foundation, and once your foundation is laid, and sorry, I stopped my story right there, but yeah, it just flooded and I started crying. It was a sad moment for me. You would need a way to get in, and there's no way to get in once you first build it. The only way to get in is through hatches, as I was just about to put down. So. We have no <laughs> power. That's what I'm saying. What power is restored? There's no power here. So there's several ways to do power now. Before it was like kind of like mainly one way, which was the solar panels here. They are hard to find. Let me tell you. And you can only use that in the daytime as solar panels do it. And there are certain ways that you can do it. So let's go through these power options. There's a bioreactor. However, this bioreactor doesn't really. The original, this was the original concept of the bioreactor, but now they've upgraded it, and this is the real bioreactor. And this takes a lot. Okay, oh, it's pretty cool. It looks awesome. And then there's that nuclear reactor, which takes rods and everything. That looks awesome too. There's a power transmitter, which will transmit power. I have no idea what that does. And here's one of the new ones, it's a thermal plant. And that little baby, you literally, like, remember that fireplace I had earlier? Yeah, so we would go back there and place it right there and it literally send it, I don't know, wirelessly to our base and we would have that extra power, which would be pretty cool. Once you get your power in, you would use certain things like our appliances here, which are uh, 
our fabricator you would have here you would have like your spotlights here you would have like your floodlights the things that use electricity you would use also your oxygen and stuff of that nature it all requires power to run so like here if i was in survival mode i literally would still not be breathing and i'd have to go find some way to power that up now i won't like to tell you too much that's like i said it's just a snippet of what we're going through and then you have the miscellaneous and they put in chairs which means you have to you can actually like there are some places like of course obviously if an entire ship of like a bunch of people blew up there would be a bunch of people who try to rush in and go into these life pods as well so you can find different debris throughout the whole ocean and it'll look pretty amazing actually like when you go through it you basically the whole point of the game is to explore to look through and to find many many different things in the game like you would find like there's going to be a story mode where you would have to find like your i guess either your comrades or you would have to find like maybe um an alien race or something like that i don't know what they're going to do but it looks pretty awesome as they um already started with some of the story components i've been researching this game and i am pretty excited for it what in the world is going on here <laughs> Why is that bloating? <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Um. Alrighty. So yeah, Subnautica is a world that's supposed to be like, you know, it's a beautiful, fantastical place that you just landed on. You're making your new home. And let's go through some more of these tools. Like the scanner, as I was talking to you about, the scanner is literally what it is. You scan things. So you would scan like creatures like this thing, which is called a sand shark. I know what it's called because this guy will drive you absolutely 100% scary. And these guys, oh my god, I hate these. They can go to the HE double hockey states and tell you right now. Oh, and also, one of the things I thought was pretty cool to update is in real life, there's a circle of life. <laughs> Fun fact the song Circle of Life is talking about them hunting a lion in a deer. Sorry, I wrote your dreams. <laughs> These things, I don't know what they do still. I know they're supposed to be like these floaty brains and they're called floaters. Oh, and every time you scan like a creature, it ends up in your encyclopedia, which you can access here. Nope. Here. In your data bank. And you would get like alien life forms, information about the aurora, what it was, technical equipment, all different kinds of stuff that'll help you throughout the game. You can also take screenshots and hang them on your wall, hence the picture thing that you saw on the uh... You can also look at your voice logs. So sometimes you start saying, hey, I picked up this, or hey, something like that happened, and then you end up there. These are all your blueprints. Every single one of your blueprints that'll show up. So far, all of them are here because I am in creative mode. Oh. And lately, some of the blueprint stuff um has been matching up so like some stuff actually is here like before it wasn't like when i logged in at one point there wasn't everything there and i was kind of like what is the point and like so why are you still here go away <laughs> you can also dump stuff from your inventory by just like placing wherever you want but yeah it's almost like a beautiful place but at the same time a dangerous place this is a boomer. You can eat these. They're so cute. But they're also very healthy and nutritious for you. <laughs> Let's just nutrition taste just like chicken. Yeah, sand shark, as you can see, literally buries itself. And then pops up and scares you to death and then tries to eat you. But because we're in creative mode, it doesn't give a crap about us because we're invisible. <laughs> However, just like the circle white, it will descend on its prey eventually and I guess try to eat it which is really this is Sancho is trying to descend on its prey and eat it and see how close it gets it looks like this speed fish is trying to avoid the Sancho it seems to be doing a great and marvelous job 
Three sand sharks all back to the same thing. <laughs> I guess the game I get that. No, it's still going after the spins like you will be mine. Like I said, if I was in survival mode, I'd be dead right now. These guys are also bad. These are like all common fish, by the way, so you will come into contact with them a lot. They take metal, which can be bad because you have a new room. You have a few rooms that you can use and they can take something from it and it will hurt you Like here, here, remember I was telling you guys about the chairs and stuff? You could probably find like some chairs or like a desk or something in this salvage area right here. So like, of course some of the debris is gonna be... Can I scan this? No, oh, oh. Oh wait, is that wait, something popped up. I don't know what. Can I put through the bag or not? Dang it, it was just sand. That was something cool. I can actually open the, the bag and like stuff will be in it. But yeah, it's this game is actually pretty cool. It's pretty cool to explore. These things are hard to pick. A peeper. Cooked peeper anybody? <laughs> I cracked myself up. Look at that. Look at that. It's women away. Get back here! That's what it's called. Peeper, because they're big eyes. Or is that peep? Yeah, it's peeper. It's their big old eyes. They just peeping at you. I don't know what this is supposed to actually do. I think it's just for decoration. But you could scan it or cut it and then put it in your vase. You can see, like I said. Very dangerous little guys. And they pick up any metal. Creep vines are really interesting too. You can use them as food, or you can use them for something else. But this, this is the core here. Nothing. So let's get on. These are the seed clusters, and you can use these to glow or something to create things. So I'm not gonna spoil too much. I just kind of want to show you what the game is all about and what you can build and all the many different creatures here. Like this one is so cute, but he also hates you, so he will be defensive against you. And his butt is full of things that'll blow you up. So be very careful. So honestly, if you were to pick up Subnautica, which I again encourage you to do, you would explore so much of this world because there's so much to explore. And like I said, I am in creative mode, so I have no oxygen. Normally I would be like scrambling to get oxygen, scrambling to do things. And I want to leave you on one note. There is a creature in here. They're implementing many different creatures. They're updating every month, and there's like some creatures that you can spawn in right now, but I'm not gonna spawn anything in. However, there is one creature I do want you to know about that can scare even the. <laughs> it scares the pants off me. I think I hear him now. <laughs> he won't bother us now, but normally. He... Yep. I want to show you this bad boy here. <laughs> this guy is in my worst nightmares when I play Subnautica. It took me forever to get near him in creative mode. But for now, I can swim with him, but he will eat you. <laughs> he sees you, he'll play with you, and he will eat you. <laughs> and his roar can... This beast is long. However, there is worse beasts out there. But for now, this is the only, honestly, the only scary beast out there on Subnautica. And its name? It's called the Reaper Leviathan. So you can already tell it's not a good. Yeah, and it, it will bite you and eat you. He will not eat you now. Ah! <laughs> kind of scared me a little, actually. Sorry, I'm just gonna swim up. I'm swimming up, swimming up. Glider! Oh yeah, you can also pick up this glider. <laughs> that kind of scared me a little. 
<laughs> but he usually he's not the only one. There are like many others, but he'll like I said, he'll normally eat you, kill you, murder you, eat you. Have I said eaten? <laughs> and you'll want to get on the ship at some point. You're gonna want to get a meat way too many for the life, and eventually it's gonna be radioactive. There's like that to worry about. But again, I encourage you to play the game. However, watch out for him, because he will eat you. And there are, again, are other creatures that are going to be implemented, like the sea dragon, and then there's the sea emperor, which is supposed to be a really nice guy. So, and I think you can befriend him and he'll take out this guy, the sea dragon, which is even bigger, by the way. The sea dragon is bigger than this guy right here. Well, that's it for the Subnautica. I will show you a little bit of the survival series. I mean, if you want to see the survival series, honestly, I will do the survival series whatever. If you don't want to see the survival series, let me know. Um, and just, I hope you really do play this game because it is fun to play. Yes, he's a scary guy and there are other scary things coming. However, should that stop you from playing? Of course not. Why should it? I mean, there are terrible games. I mean, there are terrible things out in different games, and again, yeah, he does scare me a lot because of this war. But however, this game is pretty fun. You will be able to find I was trying to find a uh... So like I said, there's more than one Reaper the Leviathan. The trick to this is just try to avoid them. What I'm doing is not avoiding them. Ah! Yes, this is what I wanted to find. This is what I wanted to find. No, that is not what I wanted to find. There's one more thing I want to show you. But it doesn't look like it's cooperating with me because I'm in creative mode. How dare you! Like I said, if I was in survival mode, you, you guys would see it. So again, if you want me to do survival mode, I can do survival mode, no problem. However, if you don't want me to do survival mode, it's up to you. Um, can I encourage you to pick up the game, play for yourself, and explore the world that is Subnautica. And so this is Cam, hopefully trying to stay alive, and signing out.